Yeah, buddy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Lelder, and in this episode, we're doing a quick multiplayer game in Overwatch, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the rumors of the next couple characters after Doomfist. Now, I'm sure everybody's heard, and if you haven't heard, this is the first word you're going to hear, is that they kind of talked about the summer event today. They didn't really talk much about the skins that are going to be coming out. Um, Jeff Kaplan talked about, uh, he verified there's going to be Lucio Ball. He verified that it's going to be, uh, we're going to have a competitive version of Lucio Ball as well, which is actually kind of cool if you're in the top 500 to get a spray. If you participate, you get a spray. Uh, if you do all the, whatever, the uh, placement matches. And he said that the, there is going to be a new Mercy skin that's his favorite. He didn't say what it is. Um, he said that the new Junkrat skin is going to be really cool. A lot of people will be happy with that. And a couple other things that are actually really interesting. Also, you'll be able to get the old skins. Like, I'm missing the old Lucio skin, which I'm really excited about that because it's the one skin I'm missing for Lucio. So I'm, I'm definitely going to have to buy that. But there's that. So we know we have the summer event coming. We're going to have a lot of stuff. You're going to be able to actually buy the costumes this time. So I am excited for that. But what everybody's worried about is who is the next hero going to be? There's been a couple leaks in the last three, four, five days. Um, some of them don't really seem like they're that real. Some of them actually seem like they could be the next hero after Doomfist. Now, one thing to show you, we have a lot of offense heroes. We don't have a lot of builders. We don't have a lot of support. We don't have a lot of tanks. So right now, I feel like we need a defense hero. We need another support. We need some other kind of healing, which I understand that's going to be really difficult to do because keeping healing interesting and balanced where you can do offense at the same time has got to be really hard. I mean, they already have Lucio that's an AoE healer. We have Anna who's a sniper healer and an AoE healer. We have Mercy that's a heavy hardcore direct healer. Um, we have Zenyatta who's sort of an offensive slight healer. We have... And then that's it. So coming up with another healer, the only thing I could think they could do is somebody who maybe does, as they're doing damage, they heal the people around them. That could be really cool. And if you're not doing damage, like you don't do crap. But... Uh, just coming up with a healer type has got to be really difficult. So, the, one of the things is pointing to a character named Siren, who is a defense hero. She has like a chain sword that comes apart, kind of like, uh, man, what was that weapon? If you know the weapon I'm talking about down below, leave a comment. It's in um, Tekken, if I remember right. That one, no, Soul Calibur. It was that one character in Soul Calibur. I'll leave a picture here in a second, because I'm sure I'll be able to think about it. Um, sort of like that. Supposedly, she'll be able to lock down areas. Oh, my buttons got changed. Shit. I forgot my buttons are back to normal. Fuck, I gotta change this as soon as I die. I can't wall run. I can't wall run. Fuck. All right, give me one second. This is really, really difficult. Fuck. Uh, Cindy was playing on my on my, on my my account the other day. She asked, she was like, can I please change it back? Oh, thank God. Okay, give me two seconds. I've got to change this. We're and we're back. Okay, so anyways. Uh, she's able to lock down abilities. She's able to like lock down areas supposedly. Um... She's not going to be, like, a, a tank type of character, but there's, like, a detailed description of, like, her her backstory. Like, she was a Black Watch member. The Omnix, like, killed her family. So, here's the thing. So far, the reason I don't think it's real is thus far, they haven't really... When a, character, when a character's about to come out, they don't really give a lot of info on the character itself until it's out. Like, you'll get maybe... Oh, my God! You st oh, you better die. You mother... You might get, like, a little bit of information. You might get, like, uh, an idea of what the character looks like or an idea of what the abilities are. But we've never had a character whose complete backstory came out before the character came out. So, I don't think it's real. I think that Siren is a fake. I think it could be an interesting idea to have somebody with a sword. There's a bunch, if you go on Reddit, there's a bunch of character ideas that are swords. But I don't think... I don't think it's real. The next two are still kind of leaked out, supposedly. Uh, one is Bria, and the other one's Ivan. Um, Ivan is supposed to be, like, a spy character. Well, we can go good healing. Okay, first we need to get this fucking turret. Turret. This team is driving me crazy. Come on, come on, let's go get this turret. Uh, he's supposed to be, like, a spy character. He has, like, a suppressed pistol. He's going to be an older gentleman. Supposedly he's in a suit. And he, that's all we know about him thus far. We don't have any more information than pretty much that. So, I think that could be a possibility. Only because there's not a lot of information. Supposedly, he's going to be like an invisible type character. He's supposed to be able to stealth. He's going to be like a James Bond-esque type of... Please be ours. Please be ours. Please be ours. Nope. Okay, good. Um, I think it could be possibility. The other one's going to be Bria, which is actually going to be our first like actual young character, supposedly. Uh, she's going to have like a computer on her wrist. Um... And she's supposed to be, like, able to... 
block off areas sort of like May. We don't know much about her besides that, and that's the main reason why I think she could be real as well. Um, Ivan, like I said, he's supposed to be a spy tape character. Supposedly he has gadgets he can use and, and manipulate. I'm guessing it would be some kind of defensive character where he could lock down areas, he could like suppress your abilities, he could you know take over points, he could lock things down, he could put down like a flying turret. If you look at any character that's ever been used in a spy game, the only thing they have other than stealth is usually is usually if you want healing, get on the point. Hold on a second, sorry, it's hard for me to focus when I'm trying to take this stupid point back. Um, it's usually. They got a bunch of a bit like stuff. Like Spy Hunter had a bunch of jazz. Um, James Bond always had a bunch of different things. So I'm guessing if he does have stealth, he'll also have some kind of abilities he can use um, or to summon for gadgets. Now, as far as the Bria thing, they're saying she's supposed to be a May type character, like a control type character. Hold on. No, you ain't got nobody on your sight. Gotcha. That's what I'm talking about. Um, which I think would be really cool because we only have one May type character. So I'm hoping she'd be able to... Hold on a second. This guy's going to try to rush me. I can feel it. Shit. I'm sorry I did that too late. I'm sorry, Diva. I'm keeping him off you. I'm going to die. Okay, I died. Um, we need another character that's like May that's able to lock down areas and lock down that kind of stuff. So we don't need a DPS character. We have so many types of DPS characters now. We have Ninja. We have an Archer. We have a Sniper. We have a, a, a Melee dude. Come on, let's go. Um, so I don't think we need that. We need another defense character. We need another tank. A true tank, too. Not like... not like. No offense, Roadhog's right now, and I feel really bad for you, Roadhog, but not another Roadhog. We need somebody who's like a Reinhardt. Somebody who's able to shield areas, keep areas locked down completely. No, no, no! Oh, my God. Thank God he went that way. Fuck! Um, so we need somebody with, like, a tank or a sword or... Or even, like, another mech-type character. Oh, we lost that. Come on, man. Look at this. Anyways, and we need another support of some kind. So, as far as the three rumored characters go, um, I don't really, really like any of them. Now, there is one character that I'm actually... He's a concept on Reddit. His name is Zameen. Z-A-M-E-E-N. I've seen this dude a bunch of times. He was one of the first, like, Overwatch concept characters on Reddit. Um, he was actually, for a while there, everyone thought he was actually going to be a character. Um, and he looks really cool to me. Like, if they could do some kind... They need to do some kind of support hero that... Mother, father, you would do that, wouldn't you? Need to kill this Bastion real bad. They need to do some kind of support hero that's also able to be like a tank. And I really think if they took... I mean, Lucio's kind of like a bard. But I really think if they took a defense... Or a support type of hero that is able to do damage and... Hold on. God, I can't focus. This is such a hard match. I'm determined to get higher kills than these motherfuckers. Um, that's able to heal and do damage at the same time. I think it could be awesome. Like, one of my favorite characters in World of Warcraft was the Monk. And that'd be cool, too. Is if, as far as doing damage, as he did damage, he healed those around him. That could be fan-freaking-tastic. Let's get here. Um... And I think it'd be a really neat concept to do. They could use somebody that's from... Because right now we only have Witcherface. Oh my god, seriously right now? Symmetra, who's from India. And while that's cool, they're trying to do someone from each region. So they could do somebody from Tibet, which would be Zenyatta now that I thought about it. But they could do anybody that's from that kind of methodology. And... Sorry, man. this is I'm really trying to kill these people right now. I just think it'd be really cool if they did somebody that's sort of like that where they were able to do damage, heal, and mess people up, um, and be mobile at the same time. Like, that's one of the things I loved about the monk in World of Warcraft, is that he did both of those things. He healed and damaged. And you kind of do both. If you want to just damage more, you can damage more. You want to heal more, you can heal more. Um, so, and if I remember right about Zameen, is that was what the concept was. Like, I think he poisons people, or he, like, buffs them. So... I'm just hoping the next hero, whatever it is, is either defense or support or tank. Because we do not need another... I'm I'm really pulling for support because I didn't usually like support heroes at all um, until this game. I mean, I played a cleric and I played a... Man, what was the other character I played? I played a cleric and I played some other stuff in World of Warcraft, but usually it was only if my, my team needed it or my raid group or my friends or my party or whatever. Usually I played a tank. Usually I played a DPS. 
preferably tanks. So this is the first game where I've really enjoyed support, mainly because the support classes aren't just the support classes. They do a little bit of everything. Um, and I think that is one thing that they're really good about. Because each character, even when they're one thing, they're not just one thing. Like, Diva does a lot of damage. Um, Reinhardt, if you get up and close and personal, he's a tank, but he also murders people! Holy shit! I'm trying to, but this damn... This guy is murdering the living piss out of me! Um, trying to do the objective and nobody's fucking helping me. We're gonna lose this match. Anyways! I hope it's a healer. Yes, thank you, Lord Pisa Mises. The god of gaming. That's, that's, the, that's his real name, Lord Pisa Mises. So, leave some comments, man. Have you seen any characters that you really think are really, really cool? Like, Zameen... Oh, man, let me find this thing real quick. Yeah, Zameen's character was like... Um, he's fan-made by this dude. Um, Tim Morels and Mario Manzanares. That's why I wanted to read that, so he gets his credit. Um... The lore behind him and everything just looks really interesting. Um, he's actually gotten a lot of support for being an actual character. He's a technobiologist. He's a worldwide. He's known for like, oh my god, another Bastion. Seriously, I'm just gonna hide right here. Um, he started operating outlaw, experiment with junk, technological waste of profit. He poisons, and he like heals, which I think would be really really cool. Even if he just poisons, he could hold down areas like May. I think that's awesome, and I really, 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 really hope that Blizzard reaches out to the community, because it's one thing to have, you know, make your own characters and all that crap, and I mean, don't get me wrong, everyone that's made characters in Overwatch, I really, really love them. Um, all the characters that is, not the people that, well, I kind of love the people that created them, I guess, because mom, dad, um, but the community has become so involved in this game, how amazing would it be? If they reached out to these concept artists and co character concepts and actually put them in the game, I mean, obviously they'd have to tweak them or whatever. That would be amazing as a community-based game. Could you imagine if you came up with a character that they actually put in a worldwide game? How would everyone would start creating characters? We'd have, I mean, an influx of characters would be kind of ridiculous, but there's some really good concepts out there. Um, he's the one that sticks in my brain the most. There was another one that was a Reinhardt type who had a sword and a shield, but he was more supposed to be like aggressive, sort of like a DPS defense here character, um, which I thought was cool too, but it was, to me, it was, oh my, oh my god. It was almost like it was way too much like Reinhardt for me to make it an interesting character. Um, but there's just so much out there in the community that I really, really hope that Blizzard like reaches out to Reddit, reaches out, oh god, and find some of these characters, because it'd be really cool if we got some of these characters from our community. To seriously, all right, let's get this bastion. That's our number one priority right now. I'm getting so mad right now. I can't heal because nobody's killing the freaking bastion. All right, I'm gonna I'm group up our team. We got 20% left. That's maybe 30 to 40 seconds. I understand you, but I'm dying. So kill bastion or let him kill us with his ult. So, anyways, um, oh, there is one more rumor supposedly. The dude that's in the comic Masquerade, that Omnic, supposedly he might be a new character also. Which I think would kind of be a piece of shiznit. Which would be, to my brain, now that I just thought about this, um, probably the most likely character, only because Blizzard has a tendency to like leak characters in lore and not leak characters in real game. I played like crap, kind of. Uh, I mean, whatever. I got sober. Anyways, leave some comments down below on what you think, man. Because out of these four characters plus one, I really, really hope they expand on the characters in their comics because it seems like Blizzard does that. They leave little hints. They leave little stuff in the game itself. They leave little hints in their comics. They leave little hints on the internet, like into webs, whatever you want to call it. So I think he has a possibility, even though we don't know much about him, except he lives in a casino or he works in a casino. He's a gambler. He's an omnic. There's a lot of stuff you could do with that. Um, all right, let's vote for her just because. The other ones, I honestly think... I don't know what to think about any of them. I think they could do a spy-type character, but we already pretty much have Sombra. And they could do the young character, but the reason they made D.Va older in the first place is because they didn't want people to be perverts because they're weirdos. Um, so I don't know if they'd make her like that. They'd probably change her, but we need somebody that's defense, 
tank, or support. So I really hope they reach out and do something with the support guys, the meme, because that would be really cool. So anyways, leave comments down below. What do you think? What do you think would be the best character? Which one are you looking forward to? Do you think we need another defense? Do you think we need another offense? What? Leave some comments down below. So until next time, this is Lelderin signing off. Be sure to join me every single day. Same Lelderin time, same Lelderin channel. But until then, get out of here, guys. I got some more rambling to do. See you again soon. Bye.